All right, you guys, Mark here. Forget my appearance. I think I forgot how to use a razor. I do know how to still shower. And um, my latest pastime has been carbs. So anyway, hope you're all doing good. This is, remember, I don't know where to look. This is gnarly, scary, whatever. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful stories coming out of this. And then there's a lot of crappy ones. And um, yeah, you guys are paying attention enough. So, but the thing that just kind of dawned on me when I was in the shower just now. So I remember when we used to do, and I'm just like regular army, not, you know, sniper warfare and all that jazz and so on. There's, there's other guys that do that better, but spiritual warfare, mm, that's another thing. That's kind of where I tend to go. So anyway, that's what we're under. If you still think this is a coincidence, I don't have that much faith. You've got 5G being pushed, uh, which is going to make connection worldwide even more, you know, possible. And then uh, you have a virus that comes out of nowhere and sweeps across the whole world. Think that just happened? Okay. All right. Uh, and then you have Bill Gates and all his people. Hey, we've got the answers for you. Hey, guess what? We've got the vaccine for that virus. You don't think that's cause and effect? You don't think that just kind of, you know, first you have to create chaos, then you have to solve chaos, and now you've actually owned those people. And this is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, the virus they're actually trying to push comes with that little nanobot ID tag and all that jazz and so on. That doesn't need to be in there, okay? First of all, I'm not a big vaxxer myself. Uh, they keep trying to push the idea of herd immunities and all that jazz and so on. No offense, I never got anybody sick. I don't get sick myself. My kids don't get sick. We never got anybody sick and we don't carry viruses and we don't, we don't do vaccines. And guess what? We, our bodies actually just developed immune systems. And I know plagues have come and gone, um, but that's not a reason to go running to uh, tampering with, with bodies and so on and so forth. Get your alkaline levels up, get your immune system, whatever. I used to wash my, my you know, scrape your arm and knee and whatever. I go wash it off in the gutter. I don't know, maybe that's why I don't get sick. <laughs> anyway, sorry girls if that was gross sounding, but here's what I'm getting at. You have the chaos. Now you have what they're trying to push is the answer. The world wouldn't just line up and say, hey, here, you know, give me a, give me a stamp or give me a shot in the arm or give me a, something in my hand or whatever. The world's not going to line up for that unless they have a reason to. And this is what I'm trying to get at. You cause the, the chaos, you bring the answer, and now you track everyone and now you own them. And the Bible even speaks about that. Revelations 13, 16, you do not want a part of that. If this is not the mark of the beast, then it's something exactly like that. But this is too dang close. I'm not having it. I've already said before, um, don't worry about me. I'm going to put my faith in Jesus. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And, and a lot of you guys know me personally. I'm a knucklehead and I make my mistakes and so on, but the heart. So when I was in the military, we used to do um, ambush exercises on different companies, different groups, whatever. And this is what I want to tell you. This is what I need to tell you. Go look it up. 2 Corinthians 11, 14. Satan comes as an angel of light. Okay? It's good Satan, bad Satan, but it's all Satan. He's he's funneling, funneling, funneling us down that, that avenue that he wants so we can have the complete and total slaughter. And this is what I'm getting at. When you have an ambush, first of all, you find a choke point. You find something that we all need to do and go through and whatever else and so on. In Vietnam, they did it back and forth. They were lining trip wires and so on. Uh, some of my Marine friends and older guys that have been there, you can, you can verify that. Some of these Ho Chi Minh paths and trails and whatever, certain places that all soldiers need to actually use for access, they would go back and forth, lacing that thing back and forth, taking over, blah, blah, blah. What I'm getting at is, I remember when we had this one exercise, and they, they were teaching us military tactics and all kinds of stuff, and I'm like, man, no wonder America, you know, kicks ass, you know. I mean, I don't like war, but if it's necessary, um, not all confrontation is wrong. I'm not trying to go on that spiel right now. Um, but long story short, we had a small handful of guys at the very neck of the valley. Then we had all of our forces at the very uh, end of it. And as they come walking through, and you've got 300 guys on foot, just all, you know, they know they're going to get ambushed sooner or later, but they don't know where. We set it up. Most of the guys kept your trigger on safety. We're not using real live fire, but, you know, you're using, you know, it, it 
does things. You know, it makes it's it blanks. That's what it is. You get you get two hundred guys that are disciplined enough to let an entire company or a brigade march right past them, and they're just right there, a few feet away from you in the bushes, until you get to that small pocket of guys at the end, and all they're going to do is open up like fire like crazy. Now, what do you think is going to happen? This whole brigade. We want to cut the whole thing down. We want to smoke them all. This whole brigade will turn and run away from that fire straight into our ambush. All of our, I think I'm supposed to look here. In other words, this is going to be the, this is going to be the virus that makes everyone run in this direction towards the vaccine. And this is what's going to be used to just cut you down and mow you down and track you and enslave you. And then guess what? Oh, you didn't get the, you don't have the virus? Oh, then you can't, you can't. I'm sorry, your driver's license is up for renewal. You can't have another one now. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to take away your visa card because now we use this chip to track you and to put all your balances on that and so on. If you don't have that, you don't have your money. You don't have this, you don't have that, you can't function in society. Your children can't go to school here, you can't join the gym, you can't go back to normal life again until you take this. So, if you made it this far, take that to heart. It's very scattered. But just trust me, there's the, there's the ambush, and then there's the real ambush. And I think that's what's being thrust upon America and on the world right now. If we ever go back to life as it was, just look forward to slavery, because that's what the powers that be, the Hillary's and the pa pedophiles and the, the corrupt powers that be. I mean, they don't even try to hide it anymore. That's what's happening. That's what we're moving towards. In fact, if you read the Bible in the book of Revelation, Jesus comes back because he will not... First of all, he doesn't have a stomach for all the stuff that's been going on, but he allows it. He doesn't always interfere in the affairs of men. He told us that it would be like this. He said, be faithful. Trust me. If you get killed, you get killed. You're going home to glory. Trust me. Walk with me. Believe in me. Put your faith in me and not the world getting better because it's not. And when he comes back, he puts an end to the Antichrist mark of the beast system. Man merchandising man. Look at our politicians. How do you get rich in public office? Go ask Hillary Clinton what her... Uh, bank account is. And guess what? I've probably mentioned her name one too many times. If I get whatever, all right, you did me a favor. At least I didn't have to starve. But I do have toilet paper, so if I get axed, come and get it. Or if I get shut down on Facebook, whatever, it was nice seeing you guys. Whatever. Most of you have my phone number. <laughs> anyway, fly straight. Love God. Nobody's perfect. Just put your faith in Him and don't take any of this nonsense that's coming down the pike now. It's way too, we're way too far into the back of that book. This is real now. This is what's happening. All right. I'm shut my face. Love you guys. Bye.